Hello, shiny friend. Look at you keep on showing up here week after week. Man, I appreciate you. I hope that whenever you come here that you find value and are encouraged to shine light in your daily life. If you are new here, my name is Ashley Murphy. Welcome. Welcome to my channel where I share weekly videos each Monday in the year of 2023, a year that I set out to challenge myself to post weekly. I've had this YouTube channel for several years now. I believe it was like 2013 or 14 whenever I started, and this is the first year that I've actually posted consistently each week. My videos consist of encouraging others um, in their artistic leadership, meaning that no matter what you're doing in your life, whether it is in your art studio, in your kitchen, your neighborhood, or out on the town, to always shine light and be an encouragement to those around you, that you are a leader. And when we take time to recognize this, we can begin to making bigger differences than we already are in our life for those around us and we can continue to make this world a better place and i don't know about you but that excites me when we all jump in together and do things to shine light for others within our communities in our homes our relationships when we keep our words and our conversations clean and crisp and encouraging with respect, clean language and avoid words that would wound or offend anyone. When we develop eyes to help those who are in need, such as someone who is lonely, ill or discouraged, and we lift their spirits. In moments when we strive to be kind, grateful, or even forgiving. Sometimes the forgiving part is tough, I know. And sometimes we have a hard time stopping to think, to even be grateful for the things in our life already. But kind, honey, we should be kind everywhere we go. Our faith should be strong, shining that light light before others in faith when we shine it is us trusting the lord and his word but this requires us growing near to him sitting with him reading his word developing his ways becoming more christ-like how often have you had a friend and then you didn't spend some time together have you forgotten some of their ways or just their sense of being around them and you kind of have to refresh the next time you're around but the more you're with them you know their ways and what have you that's what the lord wants he wants us to have a good standing relationship with him and get to know him better by reading his word and therefore if we can be more like him and trust in our faith by knowing his word and spending time with him and therefore we can shine light before others also when we walk in purity purity of having a clean body a clean mind a clean spirit this really shines before those around us no matter where you are on your journey in life, we all can use time to improve, time to read God's word, time to strengthen our spiritual tools in our box so therefore we can shine better before those that we are around. When we sense ourselves growing angry or weary quicker than we did, you know, say the week or the month or the year before, this is a clear sign to us that we should sit a little longer with the Lord and read his word so he can resharpen us. Therefore, we are brighter when we go out and about. And I don't know about you if you've ever been in a season where you have felt yourself straight as such. 
and I'll be honest with you, the past couple of years, me personally and amongst a ripple of things that has gone on in my family, I'm a little weaker in my spiritualness and I know that it is that I need to spend more time in his word and be close and near to him. And so I don't, you know, hold any judgment on you if you have maybe never been as close to him or if you're needing to get closer and sit and spend a little more time or maybe your schedule is just so full you don't have time for it. But I share this with you of my own journey to encourage you and also to hold myself accountable that I need to get in his word more and draw near to him because I know what I was a couple of years ago and my light was a lot brighter among my peers and just in in my spirit and how I processed things and how grateful I was and how I was able to be there to encourage others and be uh, uh, lifting for their spirits. Times can get tricky for us and you know the enemy is real. He wants to take our light away. He wants to push us as far away as we can. Maybe you're someone here that is not necessarily come to hear God's Word or you don't spend time in God's Word because maybe you're not a believer and that's okay. I love you too and I'm glad that you're here and maybe, you know, whatever your journey is, you can find still some encouragement while watching this video. But I will skip along to hear this, what I have created in my time that I spend in quietness to just, you know, refreshing my soul and give me just a moment away from the busy world in just the busy life. It, that has always been my stronghold of spending time with my art and creating. Today, I set out to use the piece of cardboard that you saw me start with in this project. I had it um, on my table somewhere in my art studio and had a couple of things set aside that I knew that I wanted to use, one being the dictionary page that I have already um, glued on there that has the keys and if you watch my video a couple videos back where I created um, prints using old keys that is the piece of paper that was used in that video it's actually the one where the keys stuck to the page and then I had the little swatch there where I had cut the heart out and that was from a former video as well where I cut hearts out from old paint swatches in the blue netting there that roll you saw me cut from at the beginning of the video it is something that I found at my granddaddy's I've still been going to his house periodically and going through his things and bringing a few things home and of course my creative mind always draws near to the things that I can put to use and make something fun in creating. So that was a big plus of mine this week is to come across that and I was very excited to use it in my creation for this week. If you notice I kind of keep working though along with the different things that I pull out I really tried to limit myself before I even started filming this video of the things that I wanted to use. I pulled out a few things getting ready and I tried to stay within the same color scheme. I didn't want to overdo it with my selections but I also didn't want to start creating and underdo it because my goal was to use just what I set out. So I tried to find the happy medium. And that's why it's kind of taken me a little time to go through these and see just exactly what I do want to use. And by the end of the video, I end up keeping this piece very simple. You know, if I, <laughs> I could have really gotten into it and just kept building, building, building. But I don't know, just by the time I got towards the end of this, it's just what felt right to me. 
and if you see the letters and numbers over there to the right hand side that was also something that came from my granddaddy's when we were cleaning out a cabinet of his in the garage and whenever I saw those I, in my mind I was like oh yeah those are going to the art studio it's my hope that in me creating and sharing a weekly video with you that you do have that time to see a light shining before you just as I mentioned all these other things this is my time to have the quietness and the stillness and bring light to you for those who watch these videos and are encouraged it's like a twofold deal for me you know I get to spend time with the Lord in my art studio and create beautiful things that I feel he leads me to do by giving me a mind of excitement and all the time on the hunt for something to create with and then being able to share with y'all sharing with y'all is the other thing about it so that's where the twofold comes in it's my time with him and then it's my time with y'all and it never fails that y'all get to hear my phone ring I laugh and say I have two business calls a day and it's usually talking to my mother and talking to my oldest daughter those are my two business calls that is my time to be a servant in their life is there someone that you talk to on a regular basis I'd love to hear on another note, if you have sat here and watched all this and me creating this and seen a piece that I put in a place and you're like, oh yeah, girl, you should have left that that way. Try to do a timestamp in the comments and it let me know which area of way that you think I should have left it because I was really torn on a lot of these. There is so many ways that this project could have gone, you know, and it's about really what the outcome or how much color or how many pieces you know if you want it to be a little more cluttered or what I call junked up or do you want it to be a little more simple I would love to hear how if you saw something along the way a piece that I put in place if you liked it and said girl you should have left it check the time and put that in the comment and I'll go and look and see because in some sense I may agree with you always whenever I go back and edit these videos I look and I'm like man you should have put that there it really looks good especially on camera but whenever you're creating in the moment sometimes that's just not the way it goes but for a lot of it like some of these big chunky pieces I would have either slimmed them down or what have you because I really didn't want to hide the blue netting at the top and that's I was trying to balance it out where it wasn't so overpowering and still felt right to have that big chunk of net up top so anyway you'll see here in a quick few short minutes of just how I finalized this little piece here I think I'm getting to it now I'm just kind of going back over a couple things as always I love you being here and I hope you have a wonderful day or night or whenever you're watching this and to remember to shine light everywhere that you go. I will see you again next week.